Here's what put us under the caution a moment ago at Darlington. Kevin Grubb drives down under Rich. See what I talked about? He went low and needed all that track to slide up, but Rich Bickle happened to be there. So Rich, Rich got in the middle of that sandwich I was talking about earlier. Now, a lot of the guys who had stopped under the green have chosen to stay out on the racetrack. There's leader Jeff Burton, eighth in line in that outside run. He's got seven cars on the tail end of the lead lap, a full lap behind him as we go back at it with 11 laps to go. And about six or seven cars on the inside. So he actually, the leader of the race restarted about 14th or so. The car to keep an eye on is the 18 of McLaughlin. That's the second place car that's right behind Burton right there. Those are your two lead cars, the nine and the 18. And there are now nine laps to go when they come back. And this is tough for Jeff. Jeff has got to be very aggressive yet really, really careful. Clear. One slip up and the 18 is going to take advantage of that. Little fender damage on McLaughlin's car right there. I think he got away with that one. Clear, clear, clear. Right. But, he, but he lost but contact. Yep. You got two cars between you and the 18. That's what you want to hear. That's exactly what you want to hear. Hit your marks. Take care of it now. Tommy Morgan, the crew chief. Kevin Harvick is in 11th spot. Look at his Look at his inside, inside, inside. He was on the tail end of the lead lap. I think the two and the 11 of Ron Hornaday are battling for position. Dave. And Benny Harvick is not happy right now. That car has been so bad. They even talked about pitting this last time, and they figured, well, we can't do anything more to it. That was Kevin's thoughts, and apparently we've got a car on the wall, guys. Kelly Denton has gotten into the outside wall. Caution's out. Oh, man. So all those cars now get back on the lead lap. Talking about the 0-2 of Ryan Newman, the 10 car of Jeff Green. And look, they're all stopping to make sure where the pace car goes so they don't get penalized for passing the pace car. See the pace car started to creep out onto the track? He's trying to get back to the leader and all these cars are trying to make sure they do the right thing. Now they're gonna do the right thing and just stand on it. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, whoa. What was that all about? But it will be a single file restart now. Yes, it will be so single file. So that'll be a lot better for Jeff. That's much cleaner deal for him to restart with nobody in front of him now. It's such a fast car. He should be able to get away from these guys. So with that caution, we've gone from five to 13 cars on the lead lap. We have more trouble. I didn't realize that Kevin Grubb had smacked the wall. We saw the Kelly Den car coming through the corner, turn two, but Kevin Grubb's climbing out of his car. That's the day that went from good to bad in a hurry. I'm telling you. Six laps from the end. Wow. The question is, can they get that car picked up and off the road? And Jeff, all these cars are coming in. Dave Burns. Well, Benny, I think what they're doing on the 10 car, I've been listening in their radio, and I don't believe that he hit anything in that uh, altercation. They've got tires. They've got a set remaining that they can use, and they're going to put them on Jeff and try to make this car as as good as they can get it. Jeff told me earlier today, he said, I may be going to Winston Cup next year, but every time I get in any car, I want to win. Matt? Four fresh tires for Matt Kenton. He overshot his pit box. He had to push the car back. It was costly for the 17, but he's done. Guys? Yeah, we can see 21 seconds when the rest of his competition probably had 16, 17 second pit stops. Yes, new tires are critical. The leader, Jeff Burton, has, what, two or three laps of green flag race on his tires? All these cars coming in, going to try to get some four fresh tires and pick up all the spots they can. He's got exactly four laps on his tires. The, zero, the two car, I should say, the two car, Kevin Harvey. When they restart this race, he's got to go all the way back to the 15th position. I think Kevin Harvick's a little unhappy that Jeff Burton didn't let him have a lap back there coming to that caution. Yeah, pushed him a little bit. Well, that's why Burton made the swerve. You know, I don't know where, some rider asked me, I was talking to him yesterday at the racetrack, and I don't know where, Wally, where along 
in this deal that all of a sudden we give people laps back? I, well, that's why I questioned that at Watkins Glen. I mean, you, you know, you're not supposed to give these guys their laps back, especially when you're racing them and, and you're in position, Jeff. Why would you give somebody like Harvick who can come back and beat you in the end? I'm not going to give his lap back. And remember this, what was it in New Hampshire when Jeff Burton's Roush teammate Greg Biffle was trying to get a lap back on Harvick back in May and Harvick wouldn't give it to him and they had their little confrontation after the race? Yeah, I, I don't know. These guys can't get sore about people not getting not, their laps not back. Not giving a lap back. I mean, after all, you've got these guys a mile and a half down. Why would you just give them a mile and a half? I don't understand that. All right, we're on one to go. So here's the situation. You've got the leader now in single file because it's inside of 10 laps to go. Just the lead lap cars will be at the head of the pack. But you've got cars oh, from... Over the wall, don't you? It's going to be 11th on back on fresh tires, not having to mess with the lap cars. I don't think they've got enough time. What do you think, BP? I don't know. The 0-2 car is in sixth spot. But he, he didn't stop for tires. But right, he didn't stop just he here. He stopped then. That's right. Right. Jeff Green's the first one who stopped, and he's back in 11th place. Okay, yeah. I don't so think so Jeff, he's... Jeff's got to pass 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, about nine cars before he even gets to the... Car of Jeff Burton. Well, if, if he would be in 11th place, then to get to the leader, he'd have to uh, pass. Don't start that math thing with me. You know I don't <laughs> do good at math. No, you're right. But the point is, you're right. He doesn't have enough time to pass all those cars and get to Jeff Burton. But how many of we them can he get? Quite a few. Oh, he'll get a bunch. Fun. That could be fun. I bet she gets half of them. All right. Let's find oh, out. You. Four laps to go. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Train flat. Put it all around. That's Kim Burton, Jeff's wife, checking everything out. The yellow car way in the back. That's the first one with fresh tires. Jeff Green. So far, no progress. Jeff Burton driving away from the 18 of Mike McLaughlin as Kim watches. Mount for second spot. Here comes Elton Sawyer. Oh, man, that was close. But Elton takes that second spot away. Here's Ryan Newman, the pole of the 0-2 car on the inside of Bobby Hamilton. Fourth place there. Still there, still there. Clear right. And he's got it. So Newman to fourth, Hamilton Jr. back to fifth. Now Spencer's being challenged by Jason Keller for sixth. And there's Jeff Green. And Matt Kenseth, the first two on the fresh tires, haven't helped him much. Scott Wimmer in the middle of that, the 23. That's a problem. Jeff can't go anywhere. They're two, you know, they're side by side in front of him. There's nowhere for him to go. And the white flag is up. Final lap for Jeff Burton. Looks like all the dogfighting is going to be back here in the pack. As Burton is clear of Elton Sawyer by three tenths of a second. And what though? Elton is coming. There we see Elton Sawyer as he tries his best to close in on Jeff Burton. Oh, we trouble. Crash. Shane Hall, Randy Tolsma involved as the leader comes off turn number four to the checkered flag. Randy got a wreck on the two. Jeff Burton has won at Darlington. Second win here. He won the race in 1997. He's taking it again today. And we see the 23 car, Scott Weber, has made contact with the outside retaining wall on this very last lap. And he's hot. He's, He's going after somebody. somebody, yeah. I'll tell you what, Jeff ought to be happy that... He got more cars spinning and there. crashing up there. That's, it was, that's it was Weber. Greg, it was Greg Biffle he was going after. To the trailer. Yep, they're already calling. <laughs> the red trailer. They're the already calling them. car trailer. Or is it blue over there? So, Jeff Burton. Scores here at Darlington for the second time, his 15th career NASCAR Busch Series victory, and he becomes the 16th different winner in 25 races in 2001. Let's go back and look at the 
post-race venting from this is Scott after, Wimmer. This is after, sorry, Alan, whatever, whatever did happen between the 16 and 23. 23 came back. Wow. That is payback, BB. That's big. <laughs> that is payback. Woo. Now, that's a little bit uncalled for because of all the damage that he just did. That's really out of line. I mean, yeah, I can see spinning somebody out kind of like how Rusty did it last week. Turn over there. But he just tore up a race car there. That, that's wow, a, that's dangerous. That's a little bit too much there. Well, let's see why he was so angry. Oh, here's a 25 car. Randy Tolles was spinning there. Shane Hall, the 63 car being involved. The 91 car goes by. That's Stanton Barrett. Hank Parker, that's Linda Amy going by. It must have happened way after after this wreck because these guys aren't even in this wreck. Uh, Scott Wimmer or the 60 car. 